Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Ursula from The Little Mermaid. So let's get started. To draw this awesome sea witch, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw two big ovals. So come right here and draw a big oval. One, and I'm going to come right next to it, say about right here, not too far apart, and we're going to draw another one. There. Now that my two ovals in, let's spruce them up. So I'll come to about right here, probably the center of this oval, and I'm going to break it up with a curve that comes across. And then I'm going to continue this out just a little bit for some lashes. And there's just two little curves we can add right there. And then let's come to the bottom and we're going to add another curve right here at the bottom. And then in the center, right in this area, towards this edge a little bit more, I'm going to draw a circle. Then I'll come right here with another circle for a highlight and shade everything else in. There. So hopefully that makes it a little bit easier to draw her eyes. And then I'm going to come right here before I forget and just draw another curve right in here. It tapers into our oval. Okay, so let's do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to drag some points across and do the same thing. So go across and out and another lash. The bottom curve and then the inside. There, and then this top curve right here the tapers in. From there, let's go ahead and draw her amazing brows. So I'm going to come about right here close to the eye and I'm going to arc up nice and high. And I'll thicken this part up a little bit and then come down right over her eye. So same thing here. Go nice and high. Go right there. And come down. Okay, so then now that we have that in, let's draw her nose. So right in between her eyes, we're just going to draw this little nose. So I'm just going to draw two little curves right here and then kind of connect it with this curve right here that's a little bit deeper. Then from there, we're going to draw her cheek area. So we're going to come right here where her nose is and we're going to come out under her eye and curve out. So it's right underneath her eye. So same thing here. Just going to curve and out right underneath. Then from there, we're going to need to draw her mouth. So I'm just going to pick a point. So say right here in her cheek area, I'm just going to give myself a point on both sides right here. So I know where I'm going and let's see to make it easier. Let's do this. Let's just draw a curve. It goes all the way across. <laughs> Looks so silly now, right? For her mouth. And then we're going to find our center. So let's say about right here. We're going to draw her upper lip. With this center, I'm going to go up right there to create this little V. And then I'm going to come down with a curve and taper in. And taper in. Then for her bottom lip, we're just going to thicken it up and follow our top. And go all the way back. There. And then let's not forget her beauty mark right here. <laughs> okay, and then let's give her a chin. So right here in this spot in this area, right underneath her mouth, she's gonna draw this curve. Make it a little bit rounder there. From there, let's start to frame her face. So we're gonna come to say where her eye is. Let's come to the top of her eye and about right here, close to the lashes. I'm just gonna give myself a point. Same thing right here. Give yourself a point. And from there, I'm going to taper in. So let's go in right there with a curve. In, and because we're gonna come in, but we're gonna flare it out. And so about right there, I'm gonna start to go out 
and go around for her cheeks. So this is kind of around for her cheek area. So come in and we're going to go out right there. And I want to end about, let's say right here. I'm just going to give myself a point just to make it easier to know where I'm going. And from there, I'm going to go ahead and just connect with this big curve. There, and then go right back up. So it just makes it a lot easier to figure out how to draw her face. There. Okay, so then from there, I'm going to come right back to the center in between her brows, so let's say about right here. I'm going to give myself a point, and I'm basically going to follow the brow. I'm going to go up right here for her hairline, so right here, and then I'm going to come down to connect back. So same thing here. So let's, I'm just going to drag a point across approximately right there and come down and connect. So if you want to make these brows higher, definitely do that because it's all about her, these brows, right? Okay, so hopefully I've captured her look so far. Now to draw her awesome hair. So let's uh, start with the center strand and make it a bit uh, easier. I'm going to come right here to the center. Just come up a little bit and I'm going to start to draw this big wave, this big curve, nice and high to about right there and then I'll bring it back in. So I'm just creating that first strand right in the center. Then from there, let's go ahead and bring this down. We're going to draw three curves. One, two, just coming down and we're going to end about right here. So I'll give myself a point. And I'm going to wrap this around and come in. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side, just slightly different. So I'm just going to drag a point across because we're still going to end about right there. A little bit higher. And from there, let's, um, on this side, it's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to come out about right here. And we're going to draw some strands that come down. And one more. So it's a little bit more complicated on this side. And one more, but it's the same idea. We're still tapering down. And come in. And then we're just going to bring this all the way back right there. So hopefully that wasn't too hard. Just want to draw the same kind of shape, kind of going down, but with strands on this side. So right here, I'm going to come in here and finish this. There. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's draw some ears. I'm going to come right in here and tuck in a little ear and then her earrings. And draw two curves in here. And just draw a little curve in there for some detail. So same thing over here. Just a little ear. Just tuck it in. And a little detail and then the earrings. There. Now that we're done with her head, let's finally draw her body. So I'm going to come about right here, nice and wide, and about right here in the center. And I'm going to draw a curve that comes out. And so before we finish that, let's come back to the center right here and I'm going to draw her necklace. So I'm going to make it rather big. So I'm going to come right here and swirl the seashell seashell. <laughs> so I'm going to swirl and then bring it in right there and just tuck it right in there. And I'll just come in here with two curves for some detail. And then from there, now that I know this is right in the center, I'm going to come about right here and draw a curve out. And same thing here. So this is the top of her outfit. And let's connect this necklace. I'm just going to add a curve right here and here. 
for her necklace. And so let's keep bringing this down. And we're going to get wider as we go out. And before we finish that, let's come back about right here and just going to draw a curve. Right here for some detail. And then let's keep bringing this down. So we're still going wider. And let's see here. About right there, I'm going to stop and I'm going to just imagine I want her body to be about this high with all the tentacles. So I'm just going to find my center. So I'm just going to find myself a point about, let's say, right about right there. And from here, I'm going to draw a soft curve. So this is where the center is, where her tentacles are going to um, split. And I'm going to come right here. I'm going to start our first one. So we want it to be about in this area. So I'm going to come out and curve up. So you just don't want to pass this um, line right here. So I'm going to go up and then I'm going to curl and round it off and thicken it up and come right back there. So for our first one, then so same thing on this side. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to curl. Uh, I guess this side's going to be about right there. And come in there. So I got one. And then let's add the details. I'm going to come right here and taper this curve in. And same thing here. So we can see the undersides of her legs. And just going to just draw some ovals here for some detail. There. Okay, so now we have that. Let's draw, um, let's bring this in. So whatever space you have left, I'm just going to her in her body and bring it in and here as well there and then let's um, add some more so let's come about right here I'm gonna pop this out and do the same thing so I was trying really hard to uh, simplify this but yet still make it a uh, look pretty cool with all her tentacles <laughs> so it was actually kind of hard so hopefully this is enough without over complicating it so here we're gonna do the same thing and curve in and taper it in right there okay so then now finally we can draw her arms so I'm going to come right here and thank goodness her arms are kind of simple, right? So simpler. So about right here, I'm going to have them on her hips. So I'm going to come right here, round it off and come in about this area. And then I'm just going to add a little curve right here for some indication of her hands. And then in this area right here, I'm just going to add a curve. So it's the same thing on the other side right here. Just make sure my elbows are about the same area. And then we're going to taper it in. And once again, finger and about right here. There. Okay, so I think that is pretty much it for my drawing of Ursula. I am going to sneak in a little heart right here. <laughs> so that she's my jaw so cute Ursula from the Little Mermaid. I really hope I made this fun and easy for you to draw along with me to draw this awesome sea witch and that you loved it. And if you did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.